Baby wants a tempura California roll. Little Wussel wants a, Little Wussel wants an avocado roll. Schmidt. Nick, don't eat his noodles. Yeah, but we're bowl brothers. Oh, look, a hummingbird. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing as a hummingbird. Birds don't hum, they sing. They basically invented singing. Two minutes tops. Yeah. I'd, I'd pick up Mario and then I'd run away. I think she thinks she's a rabbit. I saw the puppies with her. I saw blonde. Okay. What's wrong with your eyes, Nick? One, two, three, four. Grievous in the hot. Give me the hot dogs. Put the damn hot dogs in the bag, you son of a bitch. Sponge. 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 Yellow. Sponge. That's mine. Okay, let's just try this. We're gonna try this one more time. Okay? Just clear your head, okay? So I'm gonna say the word, and you're gonna say the first word that pops in your head, okay? It might be sponge, don't say sponge. Sponge! I remember this as long as I like. I'm all in. Uno, bitches. Do not walk away from me. Do not. You are not. You're doing it. Nick. You did. What is this? Did you register me as a sex offender? <laughs> Take a seat and, um, keep smiling. I'm from Chicago. Thin crust pizza? No, thank you. I'm from Chicago. So for 20 bucks, it's gonna be Elvis. I you want me to kill Elvis for 20 bucks. So why would I give you the outfit, Brendan? To yell him a surprise? <laughs> the mirror effect? I'm in here, I'll just yell trash. I'll yell Cover trash. your ears and sing Landslide. Let's call CC again. Love and I took it to we need to get this back in my Dad, closet. No, I can see your lips moving. You close your eyes. Throw it out the window. Okay, I'll sneak down there. I'll toss it in the dumpster. Here. <laughs> You're fist pumping right oh, now. I'm not fist pumping. Yes, you are. <laughs> the floor is yours. You want to you tell us how you feel? Me? Yeah. Well, I think it's... I just... <sighs> Beautifully said. Thank you, Nick. Stop! <laughs> you, Mr. Dale, your head. Please don't say that to me right now. I'm going through a thing right now, so please don't say that to me. I'm asking you, please don't call me that. Okay, Mr. Dale, your head. No, you're the diarrhea head. You got a nice face. Hey. What are you doing up? I'm just taking care of myself. Are you putting butter on bacon? I don't want it to stick to the pan. Okay. Did you... Great. It's just what bacon needs. More fat. And salt. What's this? Don't read that. I'm not finished. Julius Pepperwood! Zombie detective! All his murder victims are already dead, so... They obviously don't need a detective. I'm working on it. The night was inky hot. Don't She strode... Into his office with a sense of purpose, place. Another word here, question mark. I'm looking for another P word there. She had zombie legs that went on for miles. They were the kind of legs you could sink your teeth into. Pepperwood had two friends. One, if you count his hat. The other was his gal Friday, Jessica Knight. It's not you, Jess. She was small in stature, but not in spunk. And a super annoying know-it-all. <sighs> Good evening. Hello. No, oh, I'm bacon. Where the hell did you come from? I came from my room. No, I didn't hear the pitter-patter of your disgusting feet. Cut my toenails. Yeah, the soaking really worked. Look at that. Mm. They're gorgeous now. Went down a full shoe size. Guys, fire! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, 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 I'm not gonna let you down! You taking a, a break right now? Uh, I think we're all aware of that. Why are you talking like that? Like what? We're all aware of that. God! What did you do to her? I just told her that I thought drinking would make her cool. What are you, a 14 year old hockey player? And if I wanted to come over here, you'd be dead! <laughs> Look at her flinch! This is good. So scared, well, shaky, shaky. I Come's literally up. have not moved. I'm so not worried about you. And this is like a guy thing, territory, you know, Jess, you don't. It's a guy thing, you know, Jess doesn't get it, it's a territory. Stop copying Russell. I'm not copying him, I love him. Class. Okay, fine, let's do this. What were you well, doing? You saying... We should take those shavings and then sprinkle them by his car. Let me just get this clear. Take the little bit of dust and go outside 
and put it near his car? Yes. That's not a prank. Yes, it is. That's just kind of litter. Love the juxtaposition of highbrow literary with lowbrow youth culture. It's almost too much juxtaposition for me, you know what I mean? It's like right up to the line of juxtaposition, but I think I'm gonna let it slide. Babe, you have some powdered sugar. Back off, I'm starving! Get it on, just let me get it off, it's but so you much. Get your own so fast! I got these slices set up for me to eat. If you want the slices, get your own slices. Jess, the men in suits here, the professionals, would like to know what the I'm plan is. I'm a professional is. too, Bill. You're not pleased, you work yeah. at a bar. It's a whole different thing, I respect you, just please. I'm not convinced I know how to read, I've just memorized a lot of words. Stop I being so mean, mean to me, or I swear to God, I'm gonna fall in love with you. Jess, you can't teach people how to write. Not true. And I say that as a writer. Also not A writing true. class is for somebody who doesn't think lyrically in terms of, po like, poetic words that just are strung. You're those, so. And I don't even, like, you're the, okay, oh, here we go. Okay, the moon landing, mm -hmm. uh, which is obviously fake. No, it's it, not obviously fake. No, that's fake? actually not what I are you The moon landing crazy? is definitely fake, by the way. The it's moon landing is not, The what? shadows are off. No, they're uh, not. Yes, sir, I've looked at photos on the internet and yeah. it proves it. Nick, that's the shadows are off, the, the shadows are off, shadows the shadows are, not... are off. Any idiot can take care of a cactus, Winston. She thinks I'm an idiot. Why are you watering a cactus? Because I'm an idiot. You and me are gonna get weird about rice? Do your Seinfeld. Come, Nick, that's Do your not... Seinfeld. Uh, what's the deal with bananas? I mean, they got orange juice, you got apple juice. Where's the banana juice? I never thought of that. Uh. Well, I hope you didn't listen to Nick. He's the worst gift giver ever. You're welcome. That angry fixing, I'm fixing! You wanna know why I messed up? Why I don't trust people? Why I have anger issues? Oh yes, I do want to know. Why I have the blood pressure of a hummingbird? Do you think this is maybe about your dad? I'm doing a little investigation. Investigating? Please. You're just gonna Google his name. I am way beyond that. You're typing his name into Google. We can all see the screen. This is a private investigation! It is. Tape it down, Mella. Tape it. Here, look at you. If I had a dollar for everybody I couldn't hang out with because they hated Schmidt, I'd be rich. Like, fill my gas tank all the way up, rich. How about glasses on or off? Teach, if I keep them on, am I a bad boy? Hey. All right, honey, I'll take them off. Whoa. That's a whole different lens to see that blue dress. Shoe polish on your eyes? I never understand you women. God, eyeshadow, man. That's, oh, that's makeup? I would take that off. That looks crazy. Oh my God! I'm sorry, Nick, it's the training. He's in such oh. terrible shape. No. Could have killed him. I'm gonna kick your ass, man. Nick, you're gay. Huh? You're gay. Be gay, be gay, be gay. Be gay? Hey. <laughs> I just had to make sure these animals flush. Oh. Not you, you fastidious queen. Oh, you, you must be Nick. Well, friends call me Gay Nick. My perfect Sunday? Sitting here watching the game, eating a pot pie with a hot dude with no shirt on on my lap. Kissing me. Right on, man. <laughs> right on, man. All right. You got it. Uh, can I use your restroom? Yeah, it's down the hall to the right. Don't worry, I won't peek. But he wants to. <laughs> oh my god, I am so sorry. I should just tell him the truth. It's too late for the truth, Jess. You live with a gay man, and this gay man's gonna help you get laid. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you think you can play a gay man? I'm terrible at lying. I'm yeah. terrific at make believe. Okay. okay? But I need to know some backstory because it's very important to okay. me. Okay, yeah, backstory's important. Okay, tell me, have I always known I was gay or did I just recently realize it? That's it. Um, you you always knew you were gay. But you grew up in an oil town where masculinity was the most valued currency. Um, you you had an old brother named Chip. And Chip was a union yes. guy. And, and if it wasn't about Teamster Local 11, and Chip didn't want to hear about it. Oh my it. God, we're doing this. When I came out, was it flashy? Was it emotional? Am I mad that Anderson Cooper doesn't fly the flag? Or for what he's doing in his own way, is it even braver? These are all really good questions, but I just can't get my mind off. Like, why do you dress this way? Why aren't you in better shape? Don't put me in a box. There's nothing we gay men hate more than being put in the box. Look, maybe I'm a bear. Maybe I'm a twinkler. That's not a category. I, I like rugby for the game and for the men. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I gotta go do that gay thing I was telling you about because, of course, I'm gay as hell. <laughs> Bye. That's not how gay men talk. I am shattering stereotypes. I'm gonna push a piece of paper across the desk that I've written a little number on. Why don't I just tell you, it's five billion dollars. I'm gonna take one of these pens, I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna write my zombie novel.
You don't think I can do it, do you? You know, it's not that. It's just that sometimes I get the feeling that you don't want to write. Oh! I'm doing my burpees and it shows. You want to see me jump really high? <laughs> I'm afraid of dying, man. Who am I? The enemy is in me. The enemy is the inner me. Sleep. Why is my towel still damp? Because it's not your towel. It's my towel, Schmidt. No, it's not your towel. Your towel's the red one. I'll tell you this, pal. I've never used that. I do use that one every single day. Oh, God. This towel's so warm and fluffy, it's like it's been in the sun forever. This means you two have been drying your junk with the same towel. Intimate. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean am I? How do you think this is your towel? Do you even wash it? No, I don't wash the towel. The Wait. towel washes me. Who washes a towel? You never wash. You wash your towel? You never wash the towel? What am I gonna do? Wash the shower next? <sighs> wash a bar of soap? You gotta think here, pal. I'm furious right now. I get now. out of the damn shower, I'm clean as a damn baby, and I use the towel. Let me ask you this. Have you been wearing my underpants? Sometimes, yeah. Who cares? You guys don't wear each other's underpants, you're lying. No. We all wear each other's underwear. 